insulin was discovered more than a hundred years ago. Without that discovery, people with type one diabetes wouldn't be alive today. But we want a cure. It's been 100 years and we want a cure. Today, there are several biomedical companies dedicated to developing a functional cure for type one diabetes with clinical trials happening right now in human beings and it's working. So far, these clinical trials are seeing success. Here's a closer look at just one of those companies. Cernova Corporation is based in Canada and they are a biomedical company that has developed a cell pouch system that contains insulin producing cells. That little cell pouch is surgically implanted in your body and then ideally it produces insulin in response to rising blood sugar levels so that you no longer need daily insulin injections. So far there are a handful of people with long-standing type 1 diabetes who are successfully insulin independent, which means they're not taking any insulin with multiple daily injections or an insulin pump in order to manage healthy blood sugar levels. Before we dig deeper into Cernova and their fancy little cell pouch, let's make sure we're all on the same page. What's really happening in the body of a person with type 1 diabetes and what a functional cure actually has to accomplish in order to be successful. Curing type 1 diabetes isn't as simple as we'd like it to be. It would be really nice if we could just take a pill or even a vaccine that says, hey, immune system, stop freaking out. Calm down and stop attacking and destroying those insulin producing cells. Believe it or not, there is actually an FDA approved drug and many others still in research, still in clinical trials that does tell your immune system to calm down and to stop attacking your insulin producing cells. The only problem though is that these therapies are intended for people with newly diagnosed type 1 diabetes. That means their body is still producing insulin. Their body is still trying every day to make insulin. If you've had type 1 for a long time, 5, 10, 20, 30 years, chances are you're not producing any insulin. Your body's not even trying because your immune system has already attacked and destroyed the cells in your pancreas that produce insulin. So there's two realms of research happening. There's research on therapies that can delay and prevent the full onset of type 1 diabetes when you identify it in people that are in the early stages of the disease. And then there's the research for those of us who've lived with type 1 diabetes for decades. That's what Cernova is focused on. For those of us who aren't producing any insulin anymore, we need cells that can produce insulin for us. But you can't just pop those cells into your body and say, all right, go do your thing, because your immune system is still going to attack and destroy those cells. So you have to protect them. Now, immunosuppression drugs could do that, right? But the trade-off of taking immunosuppression drugs long-term isn't worth it. It's not something that lots and lots of people could or should do. So we know a functional cure would require new cells to be introduced, right? And those cells would need to be protected. But the other issue is where are you gonna get those cells? If you're just relying on organ donors to give you insulin producing cells, there will never be enough for all the people with type one diabetes that need those cells. So organ donation is a good place to start in research, but it's not a long-term successful plan. There has to be a way to create these insulin producing cells and then mass produce them, make lots and lots of them for all of the people who need them, who live with type 1 diabetes across the globe. Vertex Pharmaceuticals has their proprietary method of developing their own insulin producing cells, but they're doing their own cure research over here. Okay, back to Cernova and their fancy little pouch. So Cernova developed this fancy little pouch that contains insulin producing cells. At first, those cells were from donated organs. So they were getting an organ donor's pancreas and extracting insulin producing cells from that pancreas. But we've already established that this is not a long term successful plan, right? Because we'll run out of cells. We need more than what you can get from organ donors. Fortunately, Cernova partnered with a company named Evotech. Evotech has their own method of developing 
insulin producing cells. Unlimited quantities, and those cells are nearly identical to the cells your body would naturally produce to make insulin. That's a really important part of any functional cure therapy because we need enough of these cells. So those cells go into that fancy little pouch. Then that fancy little pouch is surgically implanted just under your skin against the muscle of your abdominals. It's described as a minimally invasive procedure, which is a good thing. That means they aren't cutting into muscle to implant it deeper in your body. It's just under the skin against that muscle. Less surgery means less recovery, all good things. Then the recipient of that cell pouch will take immunosuppression drugs for three weeks, but just three weeks. Immunosuppression drugs are not ideal, right? But if it's just three weeks to help the body get established with that pouch, that doesn't seem so bad. Ideally, Cernova says it does aim to eliminate the need for immunosuppression drugs completely. For now, the clinical trials include three weeks of immunosuppression therapy. So now you have this fancy little pouch with all its fancy little insulin producing cells. Then what? Now your body has to basically embrace this pouch just to give it a really good hug, if you will. This next step is called vascularization. Vascularization basically means your body grows blood vessels. Those new blood vessels are going through the pouch and picking up the insulin, then taking that insulin throughout your bloodstream to take up the glucose and bring it to the cells that need it for energy. Cernova is using the same cell pouch technology to develop treatments for hemophilia and thyroid diseases. So is it working? Yes. As of October 2023, five out of the six patients in the first part of the clinical trial are insulin independent. That's a big deal. And the sixth patient is well on their way, hopefully, to becoming insulin independent. Their A1C is in the non-diabetic range, but they're still taking some insulin every day. The second cohort with seven participants is just getting started. They are actively recruiting right now for this study at the University of Chicago Medical Center. Learn more about participating in the link in the notes in this video. To all the skeptics that say, oh, big pharma is going to block a cure. There's too much money in diabetes. I say no way. Companies like Cernova, Diamid, Vertex, they're working too hard. And there's a lot of money behind these companies. They're not going to let conspiracy theories or insulin profits stop them from trying to develop a cure for this disease. Thanks for watching Diabetes Nerd. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment, and like this video. Find my books on Amazon.